Hey guys welcome back to another episode of Ashfak Art. Today we will be creating a TP Link logo. Don't forget to leave a like subscribe and ask me anything in the comment box. Ok let's get into it. For visible the grids we will go to view. And click on show grid. Or press ctrl plus single quote to show the grids. Then activate the ellipse tool. And draw a circle. Click on arrow icon to swipe black color to fill palette. For copy the circle shape go to edit and click on copy. Again go to edit and now click on paste in front. Or press ctrl plus F and decrease the circle size with selection tool. Press ctrl plus Y to show the outlines. Now activate the rectangle tool. And draw a rectangle shape. Place that rectangle shape to the left corner of circle. Activate direct selection tool. For selection the corners click on the corners of rectangle. Through the arrow keys drag the rectangle shape to the down. For duplicate the rectangle shape. Go to edit and click on copy. Again go to edit and now click on paste in front, or press ctrl plus F. Rotate the rectangle shape horizontally. And place it to the down corner of circle. Again activate the rectangle tool. Now draw a rectangle shape but a little thinner. And place it on the top of vertical shape. Duplicate that rectangle shape, as we done earlier. Rotate it horizontally. Place it at the right side of vertically shape. Activate direct selection tool. Click on the single corner of bold rectangle shapes. Drag it to the upper side. Now activate shape builder tool. Unite some shapes and delete unwanted shapes. If you want delete unwanted shapes. Hold alt key and click on the shape and drag with mouse. Like that. That shape will be delete. And which shapes you want to unite. Without holding any key just click on shape and drag it. It will be unite the shape. Okay. 
with selection tool select logo and group it. Press Ctrl plus Y to off outline preview mood. Activate eyedropper tool. And fill blue color. For hide grids press CTRL plus single quote. Thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video, stay tuned for the next tutorials. See you in the next video.